I would tell a, a woman or a young, young woman trying to come into a STEM career that the first thing she needs to do is plan. Really know what it is you want to do with IT because there's so many different aspects of IT. There's not just one. I get asked a lot, you know, what do you do or how do I get into what you do? I worked for a, a small company, the Mary Bright Company, and there was an IT person who was a woman, and for some reason what she did seemed interesting to me. I didn't even know what it was called, but it seemed like something that wasn't very common for women, because I'd never seen a woman doing this, this type of work. And actually, she brought me in to work up under her as an assistant before I started taking the classes. So I started working as her assistant, learning a little bit under her, and I just thought she was the most awesome woman in the world. She just seemed so powerful to me, and I wanted to feel that. When I first uh, moved into the IT field and began taking classes, it was actually just myself and my daughter. I was a single mother. As a woman in technology, I had to give more, give more of my time. So that really took away from the time I had with her. But my daughter has a really good work ethic because she's seen me as her mom push hard and do whatever it took to move up that corporate ladder. And the older she got, she understood that I had to do it. And when I got married and had another child, the same thing, my husband was very supportive and he understood that it was what I needed to do, especially to prove myself as a woman in technology. I started out doing the, the minimal things, you know, installing applications, small things like that. And from there I moved on to providing um, help desk support. One of the most interesting aspects of my job would be uh, troubleshooting. Uh, for example, with servers. If, if we have a problem with servers, I get to actually dig deep and, and learn all of the different aspects of that specific server. But the good thing about troubleshooting is you learn something new that you never knew before. And in the end, once you've figured out that problem, it really just gives you a certain level of confidence being able to say, wow, I fixed it, I figured it out. We all go into things afraid. There's, there's never a time when we're not afraid, but the only way we're able to overcome those fears is to actually just push ourselves, get out there and do it. And what I found is those things that I was afraid of when I really applied myself and, and pushed myself, all of a sudden they weren't fears anymore, they were accomplishments. And I would say that that's, Definitely one of the things that got me to where I am is being able to overcome those fears. But you have to push yourself and you can't allow those fears to control you because if you do, then you'll never make it. You'll never be successful. And that's in anything, not just in this career, but anything in life. You have to push yourself and work past those fears. In the end, when I sit back and I see what I've accomplished, when I see how I'm able to support my family, it makes it all worth it. I got my start at St. Louis Community College, and so can you.